In this video, we're going to look at Fiondu Cabin Gailey's solid preseason finale on Thursday. A good thing for a young big to have is hustle. And here we can see where Fiondu Cabin Gailey starts this possession and transition. But look at how hard he runs down the floor. He is full sprinting and already by three Utah Jazz defenders. It's a great pass from Lou Williams. He goes up to gather for a dunk and he misses the dunk, but this effort cannot be understated from a young big man. Another thing that Cabin Gelly does well is screen and roll. Here he sets an initial screen to allow Luke Kennard to get downhill, but Utah does a great job in drop coverage with Rudy Gobert to allow the defender to get back in position. So Cabin Gelly actually does something really smart here. When the play is snuffed out, he points to Luke Kennard to reset the ball back to the top with Lou Williams. Kennard ends up doing so, and then Cabin Gelly and Williams flow into another pick and roll. Here, Camagelli sets the screen against Joe Ingles. It's not a hard screen, but it's enough to get Ingles to go over the top and allow Williams to get downhill. Williams with the pocket pass. Camagelli is going to gather and he goes up strong against Rudy Gobert and he gets fouled in the process of trying to dunk on Gobert and he goes to the free throw line making both free throws. Like I said, Camagelli's screening is a really underrated part of his game as a young big. Here he goes into a handoff with Terrence Mann, and he slips through on the first screen. He's not trying to actually screen here, he's trying to pop a little bit, but then he resets the screen on the other side. Mann is then allowed to get downhill towards Derek Favors. And as Cabin Gelly rolls, I want you to watch something here. Cabin Gelly actually acts as another screener here against Favors, which allows Mann to get enough space to rise and fire in the short mid-range and make the shot. One of the things that the coaching staff asked Fiondu Cabangeli to work on in this past offseason of two months, as we see him here in transition working up to the wing, is his outside shot. Terrence Mann is going to feed him the ball, he's going to catch, and he's going to go into a shooting motion with enough space to get the shot off. It's a very quick release for a big man, and he ends up knocking it down. Cabangeli's ability to space the floor is something else that the Clippers can utilize. This final offensive play actually shows the smarts of Cabin Gelly and what can happen when his defender doesn't pay attention to him. You know, he is a good outside shooter, so he just needs the opportunities, and he ends up getting highlighted here so you can actually see where he's staying on the floor, left wing. But just watch as the ball gets moved around all over the floor, it ends up going into the post of Daniel Oturu. But the thing that Cabin Gelly does really well here is move, and he understands that the defense is keyed in on one guy, and as we see it right here, he starts to sneak through towards the baseline. His defender loses him and points him out. Hey, he's going over to the wing. He's completely, you know, ca caught the Utah defense off guard here by moving all the way to the opposite corner. He's going to get a nice, free and easy shot to take. And while this is late in a preseason game that is complete, already decided, it's a great shot and a great make. All right, Cabin Gelly defensive tape. He's highlighted here near the nail. The ball's going to get worked around to Joe Ingles, who shot fakes Luke Kennard gets him in the air, and this causes the Clippers defense to scramble. As Ingles drives, notice how Cabin Gelly is focused on him and then gets back to Rudy Gobert on the roll. Gobert tries to move him but can't. He then swings through with his elbows to generate some space, but Cabin Gelly is able to beat him to the punch and block the shot in order to get the Clippers another possession on offense. Head coach Ty Lue admitted post-game that about midway through the second quarter, they started working on their zone more. But this is still a man defense principle coverage here, especially in pick and roll right here, which is going to be drop coverage for Fiondu Cabangeli against the, against the big and against the driving Joe Ingles. It's a two-on-one. Cabangeli is going to flip his hips back to get to the rolling Gobert. He meets Gobert at the summit, and this is just an outrageous block by Cabangeli. This is one of the first possessions that the Clippers did go to his own defense. And as we end up going to see right here, Cabin Gelly's touching Derek Favors to this way so he can kind of navigate the defensive three second rules. And we're going to see Cabin Gelly do a good job of keeping his feet in and out of the paint in order to skirt those rules. But the Clippers are in just basic two, three zone principles here. Cabin Gelly is moving in the middle of the paint, trying to make sure he doesn't get called for a defensive three seconds, which can be, you know, everyone gets called for him every now and then. As Favors cuts in and flashes, Camagelli does a smart thing by getting right to him and touching him to negate the defense of three seconds. 
Mitchell drives, but Cabangeli stays vertical very well and helps force this miss. You know, he's a young big man, and Cabangeli is prone to some mistakes, as we're actually going to see on this play right here. It's man defense. It's a pick and roll for Ingles and Gobert again. Cabangeli is once again in drop coverage, so it's a two-on-one for Utah. As the ball gets fed to Gobert, Cabangeli inexplicably jumps. The last time Gobert went up right away, Cabangeli falls for the bait and gives up the dunk to Rudy. All right, final defensive play from a very solid overall outing for Fiondu Cabangeli. This was a really good preseason showing for him overall. And we're going to see on this final play what his rim protection and rim deterrence can do for a team. Here, Utah's going to set a little bit of a guard screen, but Jordan Clarkson slips it. This space right here for the Clippers is way too much to give up and allows Clarkson to get downhill. Kamangeli right here is going to step up to meet Clarkson right at the restricted area, and he goes up vertical. Jordan Clarkson tries to yam it, but Kamangeli's defense here is, is just incredible, and it was for most of the night.